Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Kim and today I would like to talk about Morning Star. If we go to Revelation chapter 22, verse, two, uh, verse 16, Jesus called himself as a bright morning star. And Revelation chapter 2, verse 28, Jesus promised, I will give you morning star and you will be able to reign all nation with iron rod. So it means if we understand the true meaning of morning star, we will be able to reign all nation with iron rod. And the morning star, the morning, morning means false watch of the night. So we must understand there are four watches in one night. And the fourth watch means morning. If we go to Mark chapter 13 and verse 35, there are four watches in one night. And it says, at even, this is the first watch, and at midnight, this is the second watch, at rooster crow, this is the third watch, and at morning, it is the fourth watch. And if we go to Matthew chapter 14, verse 25, Jesus came to disciple at fourth watch, at morning. So we must understand Jesus is coming back at the fourth watch of the night. And let's go to Psalms chapter 90 verse 4. One watch of the night means 1,000 years. So from here, uh, Jesus died in the year of 30 AD. So from 30 AD until 1030 AD, this is the first watch. And 1030 through 2030, this is the second watch. And 2030 until 3030, this is the third watch. And from 3030, this is the beginning of false watch. So from here, we can understand 3030 AD, this is the time of morning. So morning star means 3030 AD, and Jesus is coming back in the year of 3030 AD, which means false watch. Uh, let's go to Matthew chapter 25, verse 6. Elijah is coming at midnight, and midnight means second watch. And if you go to John chapter 13, verse 20, if you receive the person whom I sent, it means you are receiving me. So if you welcome Elijah, it means you are welcoming Jesus Christ himself. And when the rooster crows, it means, it means third watch, it is the time of 1,000 years reign by Elijah. So Matthew chapter 24, verse 47, I will entrust everything to Elijah so that he will restore everything for 1,000 years. And then Jesus will come back at the fourth watch. It means morning and it will be 3030 AD. And let's go to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Study the prophecy until the morning star 
rises in your heart. And Peter, his name was Baal Jonah. He was the son of Jonah. So he understand the secret of three days and three nights. And he said, we must study the Bible prophecy until the morning star rises in our heart. So morning star, it means false watch. So if we understand Jesus is coming back in the false watch, which means 3030 AD, it means we have found the morning star. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18, it says, He enlightens the eyes of the heart. So we must open our eyes of the heart. So Jesus himself, he is the morning star. It means he is coming back at the fourth watch, which means 3030 AD. So we should know the secret of the morning star. It means false watch will be occurring. Uh, false watch is the time of the second coming, and it is 3030 AD. So brothers and sisters, morning stars appears three times in the New Testament. Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, and Revelation chapter 2, 28, and 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. And these three verses all teach us about the importance of the false watch. And this false watch is indicating 3030 AD. So we must understand Elijah came at the second watch and he will restore everything for 1000 years and then Jesus will come back with New Jerusalem in the year of 3030 AD. Please open your heart and pray to the Lord for the wisdom and study about it and may God bless you.